Haiti on our way to SRS. While we were in the studio working on our album, I got word that President Clinton was going to come and visit our site here in Port-au-Prince. His foundation gave us a grant last year, but he's never seen the place, and I'm excited to be able to show it to him in person. We started SRS, Sustainable Recycling Solutions, over a year ago. In that time, we've collected over four million pounds of plastic off the streets and waterways. Collectors come from all over the Port-au-Prince and local areas. All in all, it's been about 50,000 people collect plastic and bring it in. Oftentimes I'll do different projects that involve my art. I've done some art shows with merchandise and I've done some apparel, t-shirts, shoes. One of the exciting prospects for this recycling effort is making those items out of recycled plastic. This is a shirt that Robert made. We're going to be trying these out with our Lincoln Park fan base now. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. But some other cool stuff besides the t-shirts, denim. These are blend of PET. Adding the poly makes it stretch. That's more comfortable. In fact, the ones I'm wearing right now are 100% poly. So the idea is that all these products will be made out of SRS plastic with the help of Mike and Robert. Creates a Haiti story. Every jacket you wear, there was a collector behind that in Haiti who was paid for bringing in the bottles. So an ideal, it takes 50 bottles to make a backpack. So some of them are very plastic intensive, and we put a little tag on it that says 50 bottles, so that so the the fans and consumers know, like, wow, this is like a this is a t-shirt might be 10, a backpack might be 50, and they get a sense of how much good they're doing. Unbelievable. Minimum wage here in Haiti is about six US dollars a day. Um, you can imagine how powerful it could be for somebody to be able to get money cleaning up their own trash and the trash in their area. So people sometimes ask, why would you make it a for-profit effort instead of non-profit? Looking around out here, these people want to work, they want to make things better. And the for-profit version, in this case a social business, has a responsibility to the people to do good for the people of Haiti, but it's also money earned that they can come, earn a good living, and feel pride of how having a job, as opposed to basically giving them a handout. In our experience down here, that didn't feel like the most ideal way to handle it. Number one, it's not sustainable. Number two, it doesn't give them that sense of pride. Um, and that's really important to us.